In this video, we're going to look at how to add a gradient using CSS3 instead of an image. Remember that CSS3 is not compliant with some older browsers, so make sure your end users have up-to-date browsers. CSS3 Factory provides a fantastic gradient generator. Scroll down to find the tools that will help you create the relevant code. Use the sliders, the colour picker and the percentage slider to create your gradient. We can add more colours if we need to. The preview allows you to see what your gradient will look like. Once you're happy with your gradient, scroll down and you can see the code which can be copied using the link provided. Let's add this gradient to our topic sections to make this theme truly colourful. If we use the inspector, we can find the section content. If we paste the code provided to us from the website, you'll notice that some code is crossed out and others is not. This tells us that my specific browser is using this code here. Other browsers will need some of the other code. You can see our highlighted section still has the highlighted yellow and our hidden section still has the dashed blue line. That's because we put this gradient into the section content and our highlight and dash border belong to this section. You can also see as we scroll down that the gradient will resize automatically to fit the content. Now we're happy with our experiment, we need to copy this code to our style sheet. Using your favorite editor, open your CSS or less file. Now we need to scroll down and we'll add our code. I'm just going to copy this code again from CSS Factory, paste it into our element, then save changes before refreshing my Moodle page. And we can see that our changes are now permanent. Remember the colours used in this theme are for demonstration purposes only. 